Hello, I'm Joe Muscolino, and I'm going to be showing you agonist contract stretching using the right lateral flexor functional group of muscles of our client's neck and head here. Agonist contract stretching is very often known by its acronym, which is AC stretching, and it should be pointed out that this is the basis for Aaron Mattis' active isolated stretching technique, AIS. Okay, the way we work with agonist contract stretching is if we're going to stretch the target musculature right lateral flexors, then we're going to ask the client to be actively involved here to begin the stretch for us. So what I'd like you to do is take a breath in, and as you breathe out, I want you to slide your head along the table, bringing your left ear towards your left shoulder. Go ahead, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. At the end, relax, finish breathing out, and I'm going to step in and stretch you a little more. Now relax, stay relaxed, and breathe in as I bring you here. You're there, breathe out, and go to the left side again, left ear toward left shoulder. I stabilize here as she does that. Relax, finish breathing out. I'll stretch you even a bit more. Breathe in, breathe out, and go to the left. Left ear to left shoulder, go, go, go. At the end, relax, finish breathing out. I'll stretch you even a bit more. Breathe in as I bring you back. You relax there. Breathe out as you bring your left ear to your left shoulder. This is left lateral flexion of the head and neck. At the end, relax. Finish breathing out. I'll stretch you even a bit more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go to the left. Go, 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 go. At the end, relax. Finish breathing out. Breathe in as I bring you back. Breathe out as you go to the left. Go, go, go. At the end, relax. Finish breathing out. Breathe in as I bring you back. Breathe out as you go left ear to left shoulder. Go, go, go. At the end, relax. And breathe in as I bring you back. And breathe out as you go left ear to left shoulder, left lateral flexion. Go, go, go. At the end, relax. Finish breathing out. And just stay relaxed and I'll bring you back. You can relax there. Normally with AC stretching, you do about eight to 10 reps. It's very important that you let the client actively move in the beginning part of this stretch because the mechanism is a neurologic reflex known as reciprocal inhibition. She actually moves into left lateral flexion. Go ahead. That means that the agonists of this motion are left lateral flexors. The agonists are contracting, agonist contract. Our target muscles that we want to relax in this situation are the antagonists to the motion. They are reciprocally inhibited. They are reciprocally inhibited by the reciprocal inhibition neurologic reflex. And that means we can take advantage of this because when she's done moving, we then ask her to relax, and since these target muscles are inhibited, they're relaxed, we can then stretch her farther into left lateral flexion than we otherwise would have been able to. Another thing about AC stretching is very often it takes some client education to become comfortable with it. I'm asking her to slide her head along the table, and she did a wonderful job of that. But very often the client will rotate when they're doing this, which could be good if that's what we wanted, but if we're trying to target the right lateral flexors, we need no rotation. We need the nose to stay pointed to the ceiling. So go ahead and bring your left ear towards your left shoulder, but go ahead and let your nose go off somewhere. If I were to see that, I would have to stop the client and say, no, no, what I want you to do is I want you to slide your head just like this. You feel that? Mm -hmm. And I might even say, show me that. Go ahead. And if she then does it perfectly, I know she's set and we can begin. It's a good idea to do that before you begin the protocol so that you don't have to stop partway through, restart again, etc. AC stretching is a very effective neural inhibition advanced stretching technique. I strongly recommend it to you. I'm Joe Muscolino and this is AC stretching of the right lateral flexor muscles of the head and neck. Hello, I'm Joe Muscolino and I would just like to add something. I've shown you in three different video clips CR, contract, relax, stretching for the neck, AC, agonist contract, stretching for the neck, and joint mobilization for the neck. 
And I'd like to add something about precautions, contraindications. If a client has any type of what's called a space-occupying condition, space-occupying lesion, such as a large bone spur from osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, or a pathologic disc, a bulging or herniated disc, it is contraindicated to bring the client into lateral flexion to that side. So if she had some type of an unhealthy disc or bone spur on the right side that might be occupying space and compressing on a spinal nerve as it comes out through the intervertebral foramen there, I would not want to close down that side and bring her into lateral flexion to that side. Okay, it's important to be aware of that. One more thing, joint mobilization really is a specific form of stretching, but before you choose to add this into your clinical practice, make sure that you're in compliance with the, regula with the regulations in your state or province or region, because joint mobilization is not legally allowed within the scope of practice for massage therapy in every part of the United States. So double check on that. Thank you, Joe Musclino. My pleasure sharing these tips with you. Thank mm -hmm. you.